What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? With y'all, what's good? What's good? We tuning in for another video, man. Out here trying to get it in before some rain possibly come in. Human is on the what, but you know, y'all know I try to keep it rolling for y'all, man. In the driveway again, getting it in, continue the process. Today I'm about to try to get wifey car all cleaned up, man. Uh, not the engine bay. The engine bay is gonna be separate. There's gonna be a whole video. I gotta, I'm gonna try some stuff on it first, but I'm prepared to pull the engine out. I already put in my mind, so I just pulled the engine out. But anyway, we're going to uh, get wifey car cleaned up as much as we can. Um, I'm going to... Oh, she got spider wheels on here. We're going to hit that interior today. Interior going to be the focus. And I might try to go ahead and get that all. Uh, and get the stuff out of the tail light too. I'm going to try. My bad, y'all. We fogging up, man. Fogging up, man. Try to get y'all clean, but uh, we're gonna try to get her, get her cleaned up. Uh, in the in inside, I blow all that off. And I might, like I'm saying, I might try to uh, we'll get these windows and all, all that, man. I don't know. Let's see if all they come out. We're gonna hit it with uh, the glass cleaner first to get off what we can get off and then <clears throat> y'all keep following up y'all get right in a minute and then we're gonna uh we're gonna work the interior the shop back and all that and i'm gonna get in there and screw up and see what we can make happen been waiting to do this been trying to catch a good day good time look at them been raining too look at it, it dries on the wet Keep telling people these car covers, man. These car covers, the truth. Only way, the only way water or uh, making onto the car is when you have to do stuff like that. Now the Cutlass R&B, this one ripped, man. I had ripped it by mistake. It got a big rip in it right now. That's why it crunched up like it is over there. So I got to uh, like y'all keep following up. I'm finna get another one on the way, but. People are always asking where I get them from. And I keep saying the link is in the description box of every video. So if you click like to get the details of the video, the link is on in the uh, uh the link is in the description box. Have to be careful with the clips. I'm gonna scratch now. But uh yeah, look at that, I just threw all that water on there. But yeah, that we got playing today. That's what we got planned today, y'all. So, uh, I'm going to get all this cleaned up. All right, so got everything I need. Got the box of stuff out. Uh, this stuff go to the front header panel. I said, I still got the header panel for sale. If you need it, money, color header panel like this, CL, perfect condition. It really is in perfect condition. Now, I wouldn't have bought it. It was supposed to go on wifey car, but it wasn't used. So, I got that for sale still, and I got a quarter panel, too. It just y'all know that little piece was cut out right there, you uh, know. But it's a whole quarter pounder, brand new hardwood, a hardwood brand quarter pounder, man. Four hundred eighty dollar quarter pounder, man. I got that brand new. If you need it, work on any money, call low SS or whatever. So y'all get it for that. But we got the shop back out, man. Let me show y'all. And I thought about it. I said, uh, let me see. I gotta fix this. I got an extra uh, braided line. I got to fix. I got to bolt this back up too. I got to bolt that back. It's sitting right there. Uh, 
But I got. Let me see. Y'all can't even see. I got to fit the line. I'm trying to think which one it is. I think it's this. Yep. Right there. That bottom line. Oh. Uh, it got. It got a hole in it. So we got to. We got to fit that right there. That's why I ain't been cranking that thing up. But another another reason I was thinking about it too. I said uh, I got to get them bolts. I don't know what happened to the bolts. I had the bolts and clip for that, man. I got to find them. That bolt the fan shroud up. But another reason is uh, I just was thinking about it. I said, man, I got to get the gas out of here. Because y'all know that engine will run on 87 gas. And it been sitting for seven months. It ain't been crunk up in seven months. Y'all know what gas do. That amount of time, it go bad. So, I'm going to have to disconnect. And I was looking at that filter. I said, man, that damn gas done went bad. Because it ain't been crunk so long. So, I'm going to have to change that filter. Take that line off. And then, I hate about manual pump. You just got to turn it, turn it, turn it. Well, I can let it. <laughs> it ain't going to run, though. But I got to keep turning it until you pump the gas out or whatever. And then, I'm going to get most of it out. I can't remember how much in here. I'm going to get most of it out. And then, uh... We'll uh, put some racing gas on top of it, and then you know, kind of clear it up. I'm gonna put some high octane racing gas in here. I probably put some 116 in here to help uh, clean the fuel mixture up, bring the octane points up. Cause that gas just, I know it bad. But anyway, y'all see the before. Like I said, man, this thing here is it dusty, man. It's super dusty in here. It's super dusty. Look what it is. Y'all see that? Dust just. It dust, man. All in here dusting. Whatever else. We gotta get wifey headliner done, man. All this stuff. Y'all look at it before now, Carl. I'm gonna bring it back to life when it go to the interior shop. Dust in here. Have to wipe it down. Wipe everything down, so. Like I said, cause she gonna drive, she wanna drive it a little bit first. Leaves. I don't know how leaves got in here. It's dusty, man. Look at that. It wouldn't have been down. I had to. Leave, we had vacuum all this out. And it got leaves in it again. But I still gotta mount the gauges up. I gotta wipe all that stuff down. I gotta wipe all that down. So we finna get this thing. I'm finna get the cleaning, man. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, dope clip. I'm finna get the cleaning. We finna get to it. So, uh, then we're gonna hit the windows. We're gonna hit the windows, man. I'm gonna try to wipe everything down. See, can we get it back looking back decent? Look at that. See, can we get it back decent? So, I'm gonna set y'all down somewhere. And I'll uh, get to it. Let's get it. Good. We 
working with it. All right, so we're done with the vacuum. Look, 10 times better. It just age. Still a little dust, man. Can't get it all out, but you know. Uh, but uh, I'm finna come in here. Like I said, we got all the big leaves and acorns and all this stuff that was in here. Got that out. A lot of the dust off the back seat came off. Y'all saw I was on the phone when I showed y'all that. It was coming off. The back seat was gray. Looked like, uh, but we working with a little something. Uh, it's better than it was. I know that. It's definitely better than it was, but. I'm so ready to get her interior done because her interior needs treatment more than anybody. I'm ready to get this done, but I want her to ride too. So, y'all see the before on this. So, now we finna hit. We finna hit all this. I'm finna get some scrub, man. I got the whole thing of paper towels out here. Let's see that. So, and this, it look paint specks right here. They're without wiping on the video. Right there, see? Those paint splatters. I see, I see it. We're gonna get this all done though. We're gonna get it all new. All new for, I promise you. Everything gonna be tight. It just take work, man. Did take some work, but this car gonna get transformed, I promise you. Gonna look new like when it came out of showroom flow. So, I'm finna get to that part now. Took back off though, cause it's something going on with the lock. This door right here will convert it over from electric to uh, manual. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna get somebody to go back in there and check that out, cause I had to go in through the passenger side to get the door. Gonna have wife doing this. There's gonna have to be some scraping done. I see that now. But I knew that anyway. Let's see. Yeah, they, they can take some scrubbing, boy. Oh, look at that. They gonna take some scrubbing. You hear me? Some scrubbing, boy. Good. Shut them up. Razor blade, wipe off what I can, then go over with a razor blade with the wrist. Getting dirty quick, boy. Coming out, of course, she's 
She got a new windshield, so. How dirty it is. So we ain't sweating it that much, but they just have much dirt on it. Cause we done. It been clean, it been sitting up though outside and all that. So I'm finna see, let me see y'all. Finna hit. Me? You win that from everything. You know, white this. Y'all ain't know it's definitely good for getting dust. Wipe the dope panel down. Call that window. That window about it gonna take some. I don't know, man. I might see if I can find the glass somewhere. That's not bad, man. I'm looking at it. Or maybe I just need to get me get with a detail person. And let them do it. Somebody that really do this stuff. They probably bring. If probably somebody can bring stuff back to life, I know it is. Get with somebody, man. Let them get their shine on. Cause y'all see firsthand what it looked like before. Somebody bring it back to life. They the truth. At, at least the glass. I'm talking about bring the glass back to life. No, the interior can be brought back to life. Cause we going to get that done. But she still, you know. I, I put it like this. this. This some good time for real talk. Man, you know, you have dreams and stuff, and there's certain stuff you want in life, right? And they, they, they relate to me big time. It's stuff you be wanting in life, and you can't get it right then, so you gotta you gotta deal with what you got. Like, whatever the car, like your car, you know, your project car. It might not look the best in everything right now, but you take care of what you got, man. Always take care of what you got. Take pride in what you got. I don't care if it ain't the prettiest right now. You take pride in what you got, man, and appreciate it. So, that's what I believe in doing. Like, even though the car not all the way complete, you take care of what you got right now. You know, you can still drive it. You can enjoy your car. Enjoy the process. Like, people want to rush through stuff like me. I'm impatient. <laughs> But I still enjoy the process. Even though I make it, I try to make it go fast as possible. You got to enjoy the process. That's why I show everything. Enjoy the bad time, then it be a memory. Like man, I remember that car gave me that problem with this and that. But then you got it right, make you feel better. Like this right here, this it's some work. But you still gotta take pride and take care of what you got for the time being, man. Take care of your stuff. And you know, you just take care of you dealing with you dealing with other people, you gotta take care of their stuff too. Like, that's just how it's supposed to work, man. I mean, it don't go like that with everybody, but you know, you, you just gotta take care of people's stuff, like, and treat it, treat it like it's your own, cause, you know, if, I look at it like this, if, uh, if you wouldn't want your stuff done a certain way, you don't do other people's stuff a certain way. Or if you don't want, you wouldn't want yourself to be, if you wouldn't want to be talked to like you talk to people, then you gotta take that into consideration. Then why I tell people in the comment, like, if you don't want somebody to talk to you nasty, then you gotta not talk nasty. They just simply that. Like, if, if you gonna talk nasty and throw shade and this and that, try to build smart ass, expect somebody to do the same back. You wanna try to turn up on somebody, expect them to turn up on you back. You wanna try to hit somebody or swing, expect that person to swing and hit you back. Like, it, it, that's just how you roll in life, man. Like, treat others the way you want to be treated. Same thing with your property. Treat others' property the way you want to be treated. Like, what if somebody run up in traffic and they punch your car or something? And they, and they, they in a Lambo or whatever, they get out there, they punch your car. Cause you in something old or whatever. They need to expect there to get hit back. Like, come on now. You can't do, you can't throw, throw stones and then think they ain't gonna get thrown back. That's just how it works. So I'm going to keep working with this, and I'm going to uh, turn y'all back on in a minute. I'm going to show y'all what we got. All right, man, the back one, we still got paint and stuff. This mother here, I don't know what that is. Got paint specs right there. So I got a... Uh, I got uh, a little razor. I'm going to see what it do. Crazy, man. 
it's gonna have some work, boy. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know what this is on here. Y'all just don't know, off camera, man, I've been working. I done wiped all the interior down best as I can. Uh, you can see it, I wiped the dash down and stuff. I don't know. This, this don't have some work. I don't like little tedious stuff like this. I don't like doing this stuff, which is, you know, why I'm telling y'all, like, I don't like wiring either. Uh -oh. I don't like wiring, man. It's called wiring tedious. I like it neat. But they're too tedious, man. I like putting stuff together, like assembling. And that's, that's what I like. It make me concentrate and all that. This right here, this stuff like that, man, I'll leave it for somebody else. But this my wife, so she got to look somewhat decent, man, when she dry the thing. But we're going to tent these windows. She gonna tent the windows for right now until uh, the interior get done. And then she gonna ride, I guess she gonna ride glass house, I don't know, depending on how, I don't know, this is, I don't know what she gonna do. I know she's, she said she gonna uh, tent the windows for right now. I send the interior not done. And then ride glass house. But, y'all see it's still some more paint specs. Uh, but we working with it. We working with it, and then I, the, uh, like I said, the engine bay, I'm just going to end up taking the engine out, man. The intake, I'm probably going to buy a new intake. That aluminum be so hard to clean. I know they make stuff, man. They they make stuff for it, and I done done it before and all that. Sometimes I just ask for suggestions just to see what other people going to say, man. Maybe somebody knows something better, but when it comes to that aluminum, I done did it. I mean, it can come clean, but I'm not up for that job. So I'm just going to buy her a new intake. And that one was new. Y'all remember when I put the, put the uh, engine together? That one was new. I bought that intake new. But I'm just going to take It's a good working intake. I'll probably sell it. Sell it to somebody else. Because it's a good one that don't kill. Because it works. I mean, it's great. Yeah, it's brand new, man. It ain't, it ain't even uh, It ain't even been ran a year Cause I didn't even run big big meat to you before I took it out and put in wife car and wife car been gone here and there ever since so like I said it about what is it gonna get I done clean out but uh now I guess I might try to tackle this uh bottom line I try to tell that bottom uh, transmission line. At least that's my thought right now. I was thinking. That's my thought right now, man. I'm trying to see, car. It ain't it ain't hard taking out right here. It's down there. You I mean, go down there in that transmission, boy. It ain't no joke. So uh then look, I hit the wind I was hitting that Velcro right there, that little spot. And I had to screw up the hell out of it, but you can't you can't get to every crack and crevice with this engine in this car so and this right here no matter what to get this stuff off this stuff will come off i know it'll come off but it's gonna take the paint off too the stuff that you're gonna have to use to get this stuff off it's gonna take my pretty paint job i laid on the engine bay off so either way said the engine got to come out man all the holes is covered and everything all the engine bay got to come out man i mean she can drive it but right now she she can't I ain't no popping no hood. Then there was a new battery. Battery there. I ain't gonna lie, this shit terrible, y'all. This don't terrible, man. <laughs> this this what get me, man. It's the it's this right here, man. I I hate I hate popping that hood right now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Y'all know I'm keep it real. I'm gonna keep it a buck on how I feel. I hate popping that hood right now, man. This shit so ugly. Like I've been talking about it since I got it back, man. Since wife got it back, I'm like, I just don't. I don't even want to pop the hood right now, man. That don't disgust me when I pop the hood because you got to understand when you put in all that work and y'all, some of y'all, a lot of y'all saw me when I put this engine in here, man. 
and what I had to bring it from, man. Like, I brought her engine bay back to life, laid the pretty paint on there. I'm going to put a before picture in this time, for real. I'm going to put a before picture so y'all, the ones, the new subscribers that ain't saw the series, they can see. But, man, I had painted all this. Everything, man, was looking good. And it just, like, I got to go back and do it again. And it's going to cost money. I mean, it cost money and time. I mean, like, this stuff's some good, but it just, it's so covered, man. Like, that's what I tell my wife. I, I about want to buy all this front stuff new, and this shit high. Like, this, this front stuff is expensive, y'all. And I got a set. I got another set that I need to go pick up, but it like, good working stuff, but you want, you want the stuff to look good, you know. You want to look good. They're not a car show car, but you still want to look good. Like, I'm going to replace a brake boost, the master cylinder, all this stuff. But it's just the point. Now I got to take this out, man. I got to take this all out and do that over again. Like I got to set her car down for a second. Not a long time, just to get this right, man. I'm going to have to take the valve covers off, all that. Which means you got to replace valve cover gaskets. You're going to have to replace gasket no matter how you look at it, man. You take the water pump off, water pump gasket. It's like you down there taking the engine apart just to get it clean. So, yeah, it's frustrating, man. It's an inconvenience. I mean... That's the thing that frustrating, man. Like, I had to go back and clean all this. Like, this what was crazy. I had to go back and do all this. Y'all y'all know wife had vacuumed this stuff and all. Vacuumed it out when she got it back. But you can go look at that on her channel. Y'all make sure to subscribe to Wifey Channel two days with Kendra. She been putting that work in, man. I'm proud of her. She been putting that work in, uh, tapes, yeah, on the channel. So, I guess I'm going to jack this thing up. And we're going to... Uh, See what I feel like. If, I, if, it, if it don't look like too much of a task, I'm going to do it now. If not, we're going to get to it later. So, I'm y'all stay tuned. We'll catch y'all in a minute. All right. I got the, uh, I got me a catch pan down there. I'm going to show y'all what this thing doing. It got a nice little hole in it. I hope they catch it. Trim this fluid, boy. Make a mess. And the battery toys had the battery charge. I ain't, I ain't crunk this thing up since we got the battery back. And like I said, it needs to be fine tuned and all that stuff. But it started right. Turn it off. They don't shoot no look there on the uh listen to it. Mm. Gotta get that fit. Shooting everywhere too. Yeah, this thing got a nice hole in it. I ain't gonna tell y'all no lie. That one thing I missed about a rubber hose. If this was a rubber hose, man, we could have cut that. Look at this all right there. We could have cut that bad spot out of there. Put it together and boom. Pull it what cut it. But it's all right. We're going to get it right. Uh, ain't nothing to it. I'm trying to think I probably could. I have to cut it with, I have to, it had to be cut with a ziz wheel. I was thinking, my mind turned out like I could put it together. But we're going to take the whole line off. I'm going to all jack this thing up and uh, really see what we're working with. Because that's the only reason I can't crank this carbon and let it run. So, y'all, I'm going to do that. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, we're checking in. So, I got lucky. It's the bottom line. And uh, I had already got it loose off camera able to get the wrench on it so now I'll just get my hand back position how it was 
I'm here trying to twist it loose now. Any twisting of the loop, then cut the zip ties. Uh, run the new one. Get the old one out, run the new one down from the top. And uh, line it up. Which is going to be the challenge. Getting it lined up with that fitting. Because last time, that what happened when the line, I think it's on R&B. I think I ended up changing the line. Or it might have been on wifey car, I can't remember. But it one of these cars I had to chain one of the lines because it was leaking out the fitting. I can't remember. One of y'all probably remember. And I bought a kit. Well, I bought two lines, and that's why I got a spare. Because the, the fitting got cross-threaded. And it wouldn't stop leaking. So we got that loose. Uh, I'm going to cut it loose. I got to cut the zip ties loose and then uh we're gonna get this thing out let's see because there's one thing man keep it from continuing to crank this car because y'all see how bad the leak is so we can't uh i can't be cranking it like that so this right here had to get had to get fixed first and I get this fit, then we gon' we can move forward with everything. She really can dry this thing. Cause fine tuning these, all I gotta do is put time light on it. And uh hopefully the carburetor ain't messed up cause like I said, it's some it's some overspray in the air cleaning. I don't know. I, I may whip crawl that bread when we get there, but I just hope it ain't messed up. But if it is, I buy a new carburetor, like ain't no thing. Ain't no thing, man. I don't complain about situations. I just get it, get it done. Y'all know me. Can't crawl, can't crawl with spill milk. That's what they say, huh? Can't crawl with spill milk. That's that's some real stuff, though. That's real life. So I'm getting the getting these zip tie cut loose. Get this line up out of here. Run the new one. That wife is gonna be in the game. All right, we back, y'all. Right back, get it. Let me see. Bad one. Get bad boy out. Man, they're going too smooth, y'all. I'm a little nervous. Y'all know when stuff goes smooth. Hey, right. be prepared for a fight for some. But I don't know. It might be just a good day. It might be a good day. So we're going to see. We're going to find out here shortly. Uh, I got that loose. Got another zip tie, that's what it is. Let me see. What wire cut is that? They were down here. I zip tie these things good if I ain't do nothing else. Just then. Get out the way good enough. Let me go up on here and cut them. Go up on here and cut it, y'all. Ah, this thing cut. We had one more. That old pulley. That damn pulley got that thing. That what happened. It's him there. Hot right, boy. So let's see. Alright, now we're working with some. Matter of fact, we gonna we got that out. So I'm finna get this new one. Boom. We get this new one, make sure that the new, yeah. Cause I threw the old one away. But it's good. I'm finna run this. 
I'm gonna get wifey to she out here. You finna you do some work? Huh? You ready to do some work? Yeah, I can't cook some chili. Some chili? <laughs> she talking about cook. She always told some food. She needs to start a food channel. They talking about some food. Yeah. Some chili. That's right, it is. And then she don't cook me nothing. Really? No, I'm just playing. I need to run that line. I need to run that line down here. So we're going to get her to run that line first. Then I'm going to take the old one out, y'all. So y'all stay. All right, y'all. A million hours later. I'm telling you. Literally. A million hours. Let's see. Not if I clean y'all not, man. A million hours later, man. When I say I've been fumbling with this thing for hours. Mess with it, sit down. Mess with it, sit down. I think I got it. Then I think I don't. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, call. I don't know. I hope I didn't cross thread this thing and put it in there. But this the old one. Like I said, that's the bad spot right there. It caught some paper towel. But I hope I ain't cross thread the thing, man. If I did, I'm just gonna buy another line and it is what it is. Uh, I'll let Rick put it on then. I hate fooling with them transmission line, but uh Either way, my bro Rick said he'll come through tomorrow. If I cross threaded it, cause it's in there, I'ma know it. Cause I got it tight. So if I cross threaded it, I'm just gonna uh, go to something tomorrow morning. Get another set of lines, and I have another spare. <laughs> and uh that one real long anyway. And then uh we'll just go from there. So so far we gonna see all that transmission fluid all wow, that transmission fluids on there y'all it burning off let me see we got a little leak right here I think now nah, it dry it just look like that I don't know I might have got it y'all I don't know if even if I didn't get it it better than what it was I know that much I definitely know that much it ain't doing what it was doing. And it ain't gonna get uh let me see. It ain't gonna get cut. I do know that. So I'ma tell y'all, I'm done for the day. I'm done. After fighting with that, I'm through y'all. I'm finna let that thing down. And uh, if I see some puddles, I know I ain't get it. I know I ain't get it. So the fan shroud, I gotta find the bolts anyway. I definitely want to go ahead and put that fan shroud on here. I got to find the boat. But if I got that, man, it was one step. That was the hard part, the line. The rest of it is. So I need to change it to a pressure cap, too. She's full of water still. So that's it for today. We got that thing cleaned up. Um, we got transmission line on. I'm go ahead and see it because we, uh, we ain't. I don't see no putters on the ground. Uh, so yeah man good day good day then that'll be even out the way i'm gonna i'm gonna tame that anyway i'm gonna put an external cool on here man it better because them things them radiators will crack sometime man water start getting in your transmission me and, me and my boy dj was just talking about that water get leaking to your uh transmission case and then you just got a bad transmission so i'm gonna uh i'm gonna i got an external cool anyway i'm gonna put an external cool on here so yeah, man, they're gonna get it for the day, y'all. Here's a wrap. I'm glad the rain held out, this and that. So it's over with, man. BCG, I'll catch y'all later.
Yeah.